super, super cool monkey. Oh my gosh, can't believe these guys are here. Hey everyone, Dave K here, and we are at the Orlando Premium Outlets on Vineland Avenue today. We want to take a closer look at the mall. Of course, Character Warehouse is here, but there's a lot of other stuff to see here as well. I'll take you through a couple of my favorites and show you some of the shops. Let's do it. And we've got Lunar New Year signs here as well. Super cool to see. You can see wishes you and your family good fortune and happiness during the year of the rat. Very cool to see. Now making our way into that food court, sort of the main entrance here to a lot of things once you step in to the premium outlets and there should be a map in there as well we should be able to see but also you can walk up to this machine right here actually and tap and see some of the different things going on in the mall too so if you're ever wondering what's going on you can see all around this map just kind of click it and check out all the stuff so here we go look at that banana republic we got adidas it kind of tells me how to get where i'm going to that's actually super cool didn't know but i'm thinking about checking out a couple different stores today i do like maybe some shoe stores asics i like to drop in i am around reeboks here too i have to see if we maybe drop in that one you know the character warehouse is going to be a stop under armor here all kinds of good stuff we'll have to see what sounds like fun here today but super cool to be able to take a look at this map definitely uh definitely a lot of cool stuff you can search for exactly what you're looking for look at that dining and that sort of thing as well super super cool and in case you haven't seen it before here's the inside of the dining venue starbucks back there always nice to have you've got a bunch of different options anything from a lot of places i haven't heard of but you've got villa here got a couple of chinese restaurants there cool to see too all kinds of good stuff anything from pizza the chinese to the starbucks japanese food american food very cool to see and of course when you're at the mall gotta stop in the character warehouse here look at these mugs here looks like this 2019 giant mug here it's $2.99. Super cool to see another 2019 one here for $2.99. Awesome. So might be checking out a couple of those, but all kinds of cool stuff here today in the warehouse. Maybe we'll check out that shirt section. I always like the shirt section. And check out Mustafa here, newest addition to our plushie section. You've got Lotso and you've got some avatars there, but you got Mustafa as well, or Mufasa, excuse me, in here with Buzz and all kinds of other characters. Super cool to see he's added to the plushie collection. Yes. I love this lounge fly back here. Check out that Mickey Santa. Oh, a new one has come to the character warehouse. Very, very cool. Normally $90 there. Looks like it's $46. So super, super cool to see. And you've got a lot of different mugs here too. Look at this. Happy Holidays with a Disney Cruise Liner on it. Awesome, awesome stuff to see. Looks like Mike's got a Halloween party vest for us there too. Oh, maybe we'll have to go check that out. So much holiday themed stuff. Of course, now the holidays have concluded to check out here. Super, super cool mug here. Look at this cocoa cookies and Christmas cheer here. Awesome stuff in the warehouse today, all over the place. And there's a bunch of cool shirts back here too. Check out Alaska Cruise shirts. You've got, oh, this is a great one. Look at that kind of semi polo, not quite a polo, but a button up here with the Polynesian, Alani, Animal Kingdom, all kinds of resorts on there. And yeah, all kinds of great stuff. All around the shirt section here today too so definitely lots of digging to do oh i like this one too look at that a lot of our favorite attractions on one shirt as well very nice check out this jacket here mike just found oh that looks really really nice and one like one we already have number 71 there really really cool jacket in this section and we've got some artwork and some hats here as well some new hats from the inaugural year of the uh, nba experience there 2019 lots of 2019 merch with the new year kicking off here which makes a lot of sense but uh, really cool to see all kinds of good stuff from different hats, shirts, all kinds of great stuff. I like it. Oh my gosh, can't believe these guys are here. Check out these little snowman hats. Oh my gosh, absolutely love these ones from the holiday season. So much holiday stuff, but man, that's definitely worth considering right there. And while we're here at the mall, I want to check out a couple of other stores. I always like to drop in this Asics store up here, shoe store. It's actually where I got my current pair of shoes. You may have seen them in recent videos we're making our way to see what the deals look like in there maybe check out a couple of other stores as well and there are those shoes i was talking about these are the shoes that i got from asigs recently you may see kind of orangish side going on over there so we're making our way back through the mall here and the disney warehouse character warehouse was back that way over here we've got reebok might drop in reebok real quick check out that asigs store and whatever else sounds like fun over here as well something i noticed with this store a lot here this reebok right here is it always seems to have some crazy deals going on a lot of a lot of sales in this store i know a lot of these deals 
can be, it seems like some of them last longer than others and some of them are more of deals than others are, but it actually does seem like some of these are pretty good deals uh, in Reebok. So I'm gonna drop in and check them out. So you can see a variety of styles of shoes in here in the Reebok store, as well as a variety of different prices. Everything ranging from 130 to 30 right here. You know, it just depends on your style, depends on what kind of shoe you're looking for, but cool to see they've got a variety of options here for you as well. Now you want to make sure that you are reading some of these deals carefully because some of these percentages apply to certain items in the store and not others. You'll see some say off entire store, but there are certain items in the store that they don't apply to. Now I'm making my way to this ASIC store up here. Always love to check out the ASIC shoe store and we're going to drop in there and see what we can find today. So it is a bit of a smaller store here. You can see just kind of this wall here for the men's section. Going to make my way down here, but they run a variety of different deals in here as well. So we'll see if anything looks good here today. Any shoe styles or any deals that look pretty good. Let's see what we can find. Something I like about Asics here, the style you can see. I used to have a pair actually that looked a lot like this. A variety of styles from the more colorful to the more neutral ones. Kind of a nice look to them as well here. Those that foam kind of built in to the shoe. I'm not sure I see any I like here today. But uh, nice to be able to take the time and check it out. Taking a quick look around the Levi's store and a variety of different deals here from jeans to kind of shirts. Interesting that they have these shirts too with the logos on them. Levi's kind of logo on these sweatshirts and that kind of thing. But cool to see a variety of different options here depending upon what you're looking for. Just again, kind of making a laugh, seeing what they've got here today and uh, we'll see. And they do have a variety of other stores here too. Everything from Michael Kors, Steve Madden, Coach, you can find purses and other ladies items here as well. But uh, not necessarily any I'm gonna drop in or look for anything for me. But cool, again, to be able to take the time, look around and uh, see what looks good to us today. And they also, I've seen some of these signs before with the discount tickets. Don't know too much about that yet. Maybe someday I'll see if I can figure out some information so I can share that all with you. But uh, interesting to see they do those and baked goods. And uh, those actually look delicious right here at the Sundial Cafe, I like it. Caught up with Mike here in the character warehouse and you can see some Star Wars figurines back there. Super cool to see some of the different artwork as well as those figurines they've got in the warehouse. Some Disney Cruise related stuff too, so all kinds of cool stuff around the warehouse here today. Definitely worth checking out if you're looking for some Disney merchandise. And Mike came across these shirts here as well. Super cool shirts. We are getting a couple of these glow in the dark shirts from the Halloween event. We went to the Halloween party this year. Super, super cool. $1.99 each. And we got a couple of those mugs as well. Really cool mugs that I showed earlier. Those blue ones and the red ones. Uh, in that mug section back there. So super cool. A couple of nice items here today as we make it our way. Making our way past the character warehouse this way, we've got the Under Armour store over here that I didn't drop in that one, but a variety of shirts and different kinds of stuff in there. And you've got a bunch of food options back here as well. Look at that. Mrs. Fields and all kinds of other cool stuff. Diamond Center. Really a variety of items in this mall here. Oh, look, it's a Lucky Brand jeans as well. Cool shoes in here as well at Journeys. I'd never heard of Journeys. It looks like they got a bunch of other brands here, but just continuing our way down here to a variety of other stores. Again, you got Puma here on our left, and we might be coming up on some good snacks here. Checking out Auntie Anne's up ahead. Here at Auntie Anne's, a variety of delicious options here as well. Look at that. You've got pretzel, kind of with the, uh, not pretzel, but with the pepperoni on it, pepperoni pretzels there. Hot dog pretzels and jalapeno, and all kinds of biscuits and great stuff on there. Definitely see what sounds good here today. And we've got a cinnamon sugar pretzel here from Auntie Anne's. Oh, sounds delicious. Definitely excited to dig into this one. Definitely some great flavors to that one if you're looking for something sugary, but not too sugary. Makes for a nice kind of snack. So it was a fun day at the Character Warehouse here. Now making our way out to some Disney tonight. Oh, but it was a, definitely a fun stop. Always nice to check out the different shops and see what they got. And we're at Disney now in Epcot. And you can see a lot of really cool artwork at one of these booths here for the Festival of the Arts. Super cool to see. Planning to try a new restaurant here today in uh, the Japanese pavilion, which is going to be awesome. But very cool to take some time to see some of this artwork as we're making our way down the street here. Definitely excited to try some new foods here. And really cool to see more of this Festival of the Arts stuff. Again, it seems like every day I come back, every night I come back, there's something new to see. But still, really cool to see a little bit of what's going on. So here we are in Japan, in Epcot, and the restaurant is right here next to us. Gonna be stepping inside here. Interesting, because there's a hibachi place down that way. Apparently there's a whole different thing going on here with some table service. Well, that's super cool to see. I'm definitely a food fan of Japanese food and sushi and that kind of thing. So let's see if we end up going for it. Gonna take a look at that menu and we'll decide. But definitely looks like a solid option. I didn't even know it was there. And take a look at the menu here. A lot of sushi roll options, which I'm excited for here. 
Seems like some pretty reasonable prices there on sushi. You got some entrees here as well. A little bit more expensive than those sushi items, but you'd imagine probably some more food there as well. And you can see an additional menu back here. I'm not sure if maybe this one is designed for the hibachi restaurant versus the table service, but uh, kind of another menu to look at there. And uh, yeah, it definitely looks like there's a variety of great options here. Multiple pages as well. I want to see if I can turn the page here with one hand. All right, so we got noodles, beverages, all kinds of great stuff. We'll see how it goes. So it does look like this is the menu that we are looking at here. And that other menu is for the hibachi place. So cool to take a closer look at this menu, figuring out what we want. I think Mike was mentioning maybe the volcano roll was a good looking option. Yeah. Yeah, so we'll have to see. There's a bunch of unique ones here. Like a citrus shrimp is definitely unique. And a lot of classic ones as well. You'll see sort of a classic section, specialty rolls. Cool to see. It, it seems like a reasonable, pretty reasonable deal for those specialty rolls here. So it might end up just doing rolls as our, uh, as our main meal as opposed to going for these entrees, but we shall see. So we've got our buzzer here and it seems like it'll be maybe 30 to 40 minutes until we are seated. So just kind of waiting it out now, taking a look at the menu, kind of kicking back and relaxing, just enjoying the views here. You can see a little bit of what the restaurant looks like here as well, kind of all around us. Some of the dishes that they're serving, just kind of the setup. You know, down so sort of over here is where we find that uh, Tepanito, the other restaurant. But this table service here, over here in front of us, cool to see that kind of setup. Upon sitting down, we saw this dessert menu here. Green tea, ginger, and mango mousse cakes. Uh-oh, gotta watch out for this thing popping out of there. But we do have this menu again in front of us. We did get a good chance to look through it. So we'll see which of these sushi rolls we're feeling like here. Let's, let's figure it out. And take a look at our sushi here at Tokyo Dining. It looks fantastic. This one is the Sunshine Salmon Roll. You can see a bunch of different sauces on there. A little bit of green on top too. It's not a cilantro, but uh, I don't even know. I'm just gonna move on from that. Over here, we've got the salon, not the cilantro, the citrus shrimp roll. So again, a lot of shrimp on the trap. Shrimp, and you can see little sauces on the sides there. A little bit of maybe cilantro tucked under the shrimp there. I'm not 100% sure, some sort of vegetable as well. And then over here, we have got our spicy crunchy roll. Spicy crunchy roll. That far side closer to Mike is the spicy mayo, and the side closer to me is the wasabi mayo, I believe she said. So really cool to see variety of different types of sushi here definitely excited to dig in and try it all mike just looking at it which one do you think will be the best i'm thinking it's going to be the sunshine roll right here not 100 sure but they all look really good i, I kind of resonate with that We're looking at the colors like that kind of duck sauce looking thing that does look like it might be the winner also got some points going towards this wasabi mayo never really tried wasabi mayo instead of spicy mayo on a sushi roll i'm excited for that and then the citrus roll looks amazing as well where it's really unique flavors you citrus shrimp so We'll see how all that goes. Definitely excited to dig in here. We'll let you know what we think. Mike, would you care to share the ranking system here that you and I seem to both agree on on the sushi rolls? Take us through all four of the options. Here. Absolutely. Starting it off with number one. One on top. Got to do it with the best of the best. It's that sunshine salmon roll. Absolutely delicious. Great flavors throughout. And the salmon is super, super good. Whoops. Loud clank. Yeah, loud, a lot of loud clanks. Now we're coming with the spicy crunchy roll. Spicy mayo version wins. And then we get wasabi. So it's going in order. You got the sunshine. Then you got wasabi spicy. Excuse me. Spicy mayo spicy. Then wasabi spicy. Then we get to that citrus roll. It's good. It is. I do like it, but it's the bottom of the list for now. Awesome. Thank you. And I'm totally in agreement with Mike on this one, but I want to take you through a little bit more of the flavors that you can anticipate on this one. There's a little bit of cream cheese in there, but it's not quite as cream cheesy as I was expecting. I don't actually really like cream cheese in my sushi rolls. So if you're not a huge fan of that, but you still want to try a little bit of cream cheese, I do like it as an option. You'll see, again, there's some wasabi mixed in with the spicy mayo and the teriyaki sauces. I think the sauce is made up quite a bit on this salmon roll here. Definitely got some nice flavors to it. Diving into our citrus shrimp here, definitely has a strong citrus flavor as well. I'm wondering if it's part of those sauces. Wasabi is still utilized here, and you'll notice wasabi is kind of a theme across all these sushi rolls. But it does have a strong citrus flavor, really unique. I like it, it's definitely worth trying. I'm gonna have a little bit more too, but I don't know if I'd get it in the future. And for these two, Definitely a nice spicy and a crunchy component to it. I think this wasabi one here, wasabi mayo, is one of the spiciest we've had here today. And the crunchy mayo is a lot like, or the spicy mayo, the uh, sriracha mayo is what we normally call that, or it's what it is. It's what we call spicy mayo is sriracha mayo versus this wasabi mayo. 
is a great flavor as well and definitely one I like. I love spicy mayo and I think it goes really well with that crunch over there. I think it's sp probably spicy tuna inside this roll which makes it quite good as well so it's, it's got quite a spice to it. Overall all good sushi, definitely a fan of this sushi. Not the best sushi I've ever had. I wouldn't necessarily put it in that top bucket, but definitely good stuff. I would I would definitely eat it again, but I'm definitely looking forward to trying more sushi as well and seeing if any new favorites come up in the area. In terms of, I'm thinking of comparing it to Splitsville. I think Splitsville maybe has better quality of stuff in, in my opinion, but uh, this one does have some really unique flavors, which I like as well. Mike, do you have a vote on that in terms of this versus Splitsville? Somehow I like the Sunshine better than the ones we had Splitsville, but Splitsville was delicious. It's, it's too far away now for me to compare, so we gotta go back to Splitsville and try them again. All right, that's fair. But another one I'm excited to see, maybe triumph over it all, is cowfish. We had some food at cowfish. It tasted like the ingredients were really high quality. We're definitely looking forward to getting back there, but gonna enjoy the rest of this meal. Great sushi, definitely enjoying it so far. So I wouldn't give it the best sushi I've ever had. I, I'd say it's pretty good sushi. Maybe I'd give it like a seven as far as sushi goes, or maybe I don't even know as far as sushi goes. Sushi can get pretty competitive, but it was pretty good. But I would give it the, some of the most unique sushi I've ever had. Again, a lot of wasabi utilized. The citrus flavor is really unique. I, I thought it was pretty good. Overall, definitely a fan. I we tried some new flavors here today. Delicious sushi and uh, definitely looking forward to trying more sushi in more places in the future as well. You know, again, I'm a huge sushi fan. And after our dinner, taking some time on the beachfront here, spending some time around the Yacht and Beach Club area, just kind of looking at the boats and relaxing and enjoying a nice quiet night here. Always nice to look out at the water and see those buildings back here. There haven't been in the dance hall. There's so many buildings I actually haven't even been in. There's so much to see, whether it's Disney related or non-Disney related, Universal or, or just something else, you know, food places or malls, that kind of thing. There is so much to see, but nice to take the time here to see some of this beach and relax kick back and you know enjoy a nice relaxing peaceful night thanks for being a part of the fun with us today hope you enjoyed today's adventure if you did make sure you hit that thumbs up button let me know you like it and let me know in the comments below what was your favorite part and have you tried any of those sushi rolls which was your favorite if you haven't already for more adventures make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay informed and until next time have a magical day and play on we'll see you soon and of course when you're at the character warehouse Agata and while we're here here <laughs>